What's going on my Weld2 family and welcome back. Today's lesson we're going back to the basics on TIG welding, which is fillet welds on the 2F position. How to wiggle the cup on the root pass and the hot pass, all right? I know I'm ready to burn, are you? Let's get to it. All right guys, uh, here it is, uh, 2F position, horizontal. This is some 3 8 plate. I uh, got a three inch uh, piece here and an inch and a half here. Now, before you tack up and everything like that, uh, make sure you prep up your material really, really good. Make sure there's no mill scale at all. Uh, that's the basis of welding. Make sure it's no mill scale at all, especially for hilly arc or TIG welding, which is the same thing. So, um, other than that, when you tack it up, right now I'm using a Miller uh, CST 280 machine, okay? I have it about 150 amps. You don't need to hold it here and add wire. All you gotta do is just fuse it, you know, fuse it. Tack it, fuse, 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 and fuse. It's gonna melt, it's gonna join without adding any material, okay? So it's a very simple process to tack it. So other than that, okay, we're gonna go ahead and add a root and a hot pass. Now, we're, we're gonna wiggle the cup when it comes to this. We're not walking the cup. Walking the cup and wiggling the cup are two different things. I'm gonna tell you why. The rod that we're using is an ER, 1 8 ER 70S2 filler wire, okay? I'm using a 2% lanthanated tungsten. And make sure your tungsten's very, very sharp, okay? Always very, very important, tungsten sharp. You want about a half inch stick out, all right? Half inch stick out just like this. I'm using a number 10 cup. All right, now, I'm using a flex head, it's a 70FV uh, flex head, okay? On the basis of TIG welding, and any technical high school or any welding school that you're at, you're gonna start off with T-joints. That's just the way it is. So when you start off with T-joints, it's gonna give you the basics of how to wiggle the cup in there and, and on, a, on a flat surface, okay? When you have two uh, metals uh, combined. So now, I'm gonna show you how to uh, throw a root pass. Now we're gonna throw a root pass on this, the first pass, you want your rod to be about a 20 degree angle. Not all the way like this, and not flat down flat like this. You want about 20 degrees, just like that. And just hold it there, guys, all right? The cup is not walking, you're not gonna walk the cup, you know, you're not walking the cup like this. What you're doing is, you're wiggling, wiggling the cup onto the walls, just like this, all the way through. Okay, wiggling the cup all the way through. Keep that wrist light, wiggling, wiggling all the way through, guys, like that. The rod is gonna stay there. You're not scooting the rod back at all, nothing. It's laying on there, and you're gonna go to town, okay? After the root pass, you're gonna throw a hot pass. So you're gonna go a little bit wider with it, all right? Now, when you start off on a two-wet position, this part from here, so about an inch from here to here is not welded because your cup cannot go. So. What I recommend doing is freehanding from here to here, you know, just like this, up and down. Once you get to here, then you can add your cup and start wiggling it, okay? Because if you just start here, you're missing welds. You know, you're not gonna, I mean, you're missing a spot, okay? So just freehand it from here to here, and then once you get to a certain point that you can add your cup, then you're gonna wiggle it all the way through, okay, guys? It's wiggling the cup, not walking the cup, uh, basic, 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 okay? I would recommend doing this before you even get to pipe and to plate or whatever. This is the basics, okay, guys? So let me go get, put my gear on, my gloves on, my hood on, and uh, let's get to it. All righty, guys, here you see that I'm doing the freehand technique only because, you know, like I said, your cup cannot lay on, you know, both of those plates until you get to a certain spot. So I'm just freehanding it right here until I can actually lay the cup inside the groove. Once I get to a certain point, I'm doing like a kind of a side to side motion. I stop, I lay my cup, warm it up. Now I'm running around 165 amps for the T-joint and I'm just wiggling the cup guys, from wall to wall, wiggling, not walking, wiggling, just like that. 165 guys, I'm, you see my angle of my rod? About 30, 20, 20 to 30 degrees. Keeping those weaves nice and tight. Letting it fuse. Remember guys, I'm not moving the rod back at all, nothing. I'm just burning it the whole entire way. 
Also, don't put a lot of pressure on that rod as well. If you put a lot of pressure on it, you're going to end up shooting that rod into the tungsten. Just lay it on there, guys. Just wiggle that cup all the way through. Have a sharp tungsten at all times. The sharper the tungsten is, the better. Here we go. Pop off. That's the root pass, which is the first pass for anything. Just like that. Nice and tight. Giving that gold pattern. Now for the hot pass. I'm running at 175. Just go up, burn both walls, still using freehand technique. Now, you don't have to do it like this, guys. If you want to just have the cup laid on there and go all the way through and then use your left hand to come to the other side to fill in that, that empty side, then you can, you know. So now I can lay the cup. When you're going to do the hot pass, you want to have the filler rod on the top side of the puddle and just lay it there. Still 10 degree angle, 10 to 20 degrees. Just hitting wall to wall. There's not a race to this, guys. Just pause on each wall. Watch that puddle. Sharp tungsten at all times. Wiggling the cup, wiggling, wiggling. Know the difference between walking and wiggling, guys. There is a difference, okay? When you're gonna walk the cup, you're only gonna walk the cup on a flat surface. Something that's flat, you can walk it like a barrel drum, you know? Wiggling the cup is when your cup is right in the groove and you're just moving it side to side, you know? Wiggling it in there. That's why a lot of people get confused and get and get uh, kind of trouble on the T-joints because they try to walk the cup on the hot pass on a groove like that and you're not supposed to. Only on a flat surface when you start walking that cup, okay? Keep that rod on the top side of the puddle at all times. Go at a good pace. And you'll be good, guys. Remember, there's different ways to hold a TIG torch as well on this, you know. Just keep on going. Keep on flowing. There it is, the hot pass. Basic tutorial, guys. Short and simple. T-joints. 2F position. All right, my welty family. There you have it. Filler wells on the 2F position with TIG welding. All right, I hope y'all learned something out of this. And if y'all do, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel down low. And remember, guys, always burn, learn, and eventually... Y'all gonna earn. Y'all have a good one.